Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Cinnabon Bakery inspired Cinnabiscuit Chicken Sandwich. This is tender fried chicken on a cinnamon chip biscuit with cinnamon sauce. This was $5.47 at Walmart and you get two uh, Cinnabiscuits in the box. This one you make a little differently than the others that we have uh, previously reviewed. Those have all been done in the microwave. You can do this one in the microwave as well. However, they give toaster oven instructions, so I feel like that's the way it's going to uh, be best. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to use our toaster oven. So you remove the sandwich from the package. So you get two of these packages. So you take the sandwich out of the package and you preheat your toaster oven to 350. So we have our toaster oven heating right here. And what you wanna do is you want to take the chicken off of the biscuit and you're gonna put that by itself in the toaster oven for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes, you're going to add your, uh, your biscuit and you're gonna lay those on here as well. And you're gonna cook those for five minutes. And then after that time, it, after the 20 minutes total, we'll, you'll bring it, pull it back out. So while you're waiting for that to heat up, you get a packet of a cinnamon sauce packet. So you want to fill a small bowl with hot tap water and you take your cinnamon sauce packet and you put it in there just because these are frozen and you want uh, you want this to get to more room temperature. So just while your uh, chicken is cooking for the 20 minutes, leave it in there. So it's been a total of 20 minutes. This is how we heated it up. So you wanna take uh, your bottom biscuit and the instructions tell you to take your um, cinnamon sauce and you put it on the bottom biscuit just like this. And then you take your chicken and lay it on top of the biscuit and then put more cinnamon sauce on the, directly on the chicken. And then you add the top to your biscuit. And there you go. So now Kevin and I are gonna take it to the table and give it a try. Okay, we, I have divided it, uh, and it was very easy to cut. I, I used a steak knife, but I really didn't need a steak knife. A better knife would have been fine. Very easy to cut. Uh, it says, we've taken a breakfast classic to a new level. Tender fried chicken is sandwiched between a sweet buttery biscuit filled with Cinnabon cinnamon and cream cheese frosting chips for the ultimate experience. Finish it off with our Cinnabon cinnamon sauce. So, one sandwich and one sauce packet, 128 grams, is 320 calories. If you eat the entire box, both sandwiches, it's 640 calories. And that is a great point that they brought up on the back, that uh, they consider this a breakfast. So, this was in um, with the break. was it in with the breakfast items? It wasn't the breakfast items, yeah, I guess it was. Okay. I can honestly say that I would have never thought of, of uh, pairing cinnamon with chicken. It's good though. Um, it is good. Well, think about it. You have chicken and syrup, like chicken and waffles. You got chicken and syrup. Mm -hmm. So people eat sweets and chicken all the time. They do. I don't, but they do. Yeah. But, but cinnamon, yeah, I've never had anything with cinnamon. It's actually really good. And it's got some spice to it. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of spice in the back of my throat. You get a little mm -hmm. tingle. Not super bad, but I'm just warning you if you don't like spicy food at all. It does have a little tingle to it. Um, the, I'm assuming that's a biscuit. What would, you, would Is it called a biscuit on there? Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's good. It's got a good texture to it. It's, it's not oh, dry. It's, got, it's not dry at all. Sometimes you get these frozen uh, biscuits and they're dry as, dry as can be. Right. Um, this has got a, a good amount of moisture to it. They're very tender. Um, the chicken has good, got a good texture to it. It could be a little crispier for me. You would think it'd be crispier being in the toaster oven, but it could be just the, the bite I got. The chicken itself? Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. And 
Kevin is used to, Kevin has another channel, if you don't know, called Lunchtime Review. So on that channel, Kevin is used to reviewing all kinds of things like this. Right. This would, if, if I hadn't have been doing all the Cinnabon on my channel, this would probably normally be something that he mm. would have reviewed for his Lunchtime Review channel. Um, so he's really good at comparing these to other biscuits he's had and i'm really impressed with that biscuit it's very good especially for a frozen biscuit yeah yeah the, i'm surprised the chicken's not i mean it's crispy don't get me wrong i've got christmas to it it's it's a hundred times better than it would have been in the microwave right because the microwave it would have been soggy i think um, yes i think it would have been soggy i do agree though i do wish the chicken was crisper yeah so you could have left it in a little longer we also you may have been able to um we didn't do it but after the first what 15 minutes it was only 15 minutes for the initial for the chicken. chicken. Yes. Flip it over for the last five minutes, and you that could. may have helped crisp up another side of it. I don't, I don't know. It, you could. It didn't say to flip it over, right. but you absolutely, that, that could it have, wouldn't hurt. It could have maybe helped with the crispy. I mean, it's got, I can feel it. It's crispy on the, on the edges and stuff. But anyway, that's my only, that's really, truly, that's my only complaint about it. Yeah, all. but no. And that's it, not even a complaint, really. It's just a, no, a, a, a something I noticed. It, I thought it was delicious though. It's very, very it good. It works. You might wonder, how does that work? It just does. Yeah. It, it's a good combination. It is. So, if you've never had that before, don't be afraid to try these. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's, it's really good. It's 547. You only get two though. So, it's not like you're buying some huge box and if you don't like it, you're going to be stuck with it. But I think if you try it, you're really going to be impressed. I think you are going to like it. Mm -hmm. Textures um, are good. Heat's good. And if you do have a toaster oven, good. I would say it's absolutely worth the... Uh, it wasn't any trouble, but it's worth it to use the, the toaster yeah. oven. Definitely. It does have conventional oven directions, too. No, it just has... No. Oh, that's the package. I'm no, sorry. I there, thought it said conventional None oven. of these... No, none of these so far from Cinnabon have had oven directions. Right. So this one had toaster oven and microwave, and even though it's quicker to make it in the microwave, of course, I do think it's gonna be overall soft, so it's just worth it to do it in the, the, the toaster oven mm -hmm. if you have one. So, and even if you don't have a toaster oven, you could use your regular oven. You could just heat up You're just oven. heating up your oven, a big oven for one, one or two little sandwiches, that's all. You can still use your regular oven. So, if you see them, I would get them and try them. I think they're very, very good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.